بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم انما المؤمنون اخوه فاصلحوا بين اخويكم واتقوا الله لعلكم ترحمون so yeah as i'm a said when you testify against me, I want to be remembered for what I want to, what I need to be remembered for. <clears throat> it's the first time I've ever wrote, wrote something for the thing, like rap-wise, porn-wise. But this is the hell I want to do it, so I'm going to do it today. This is the first time I've read off a phone. Make sure you don't get that. <laughs> but for this sake, <laughs> for this sake, I'm going to read off the phone what I wrote. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, that's my good brother Snakes right there, but I'm right there. Islam for us together. But okay, um, I'm just gonna go. I used to wonder if heaven got a ghetto until I read about Johanna. The street names used to echo until I heard about Muhammad. You live a beautiful life of palmer in the sky, closet full of fashion, for a car in the garage, more than you can manage. Matter of fact, way more than you imagine. The truth is it all ends with a janazah, inshallah. As a reefer, you might end up getting buried as a kafir. So tell me what matters. When I die, make the war for me, please. Forget the pictures and the captions. In this life, no matter what happens, I handle it law at all times. Because Allah is the planner of all planners. Forgive me for my manners. I ain't even salam to you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm supposed to pray five times a day, but I find it hard to. Cause the other night I was pr practicing my dance moves. Smoking, I might have had a glass too. My mom said he'll get me married in a heartbeat. But I said no, cause I got someone on my line right now that's begging me to pass through. A stuff for a lot, let me cover up my sins. Who am I to judge a sister that don't cover up her skin? It's between me and the law. That quote right there, Shaitan's biggest trick. Missing out on Salah, that's a believer's biggest slip. I'm just talking from experience. Maybe if I use my actions as my dawah, my mom would take me more serious. Even take shahada. It's sooner to eat with my hands, but I get a knife and a fork because I'm worried about the laughter. I would have died for my blood, but I'm scared to be a mom. I know they're listening to mom, let me talk a little calm. I believe in kada, not calm. And when the trumpet blows and the ink goes, it don't matter if it was in permanent marker. Y'all I need to memorize Quran a whole lot past them. They touch wood paws. They cross fingers. We do this the car. Everything's forgiven except associate Allah with a partner. The dunya's getting darker. And holding on to the deen is only getting harder. I love you all for the sake of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. My, my name's Abdul Jalil, proud server of the master. Everything's recorded from the cradle to the grave. Ain't nobody safe on that day of Kiyama. I'm gonna snitch on the brother sitting right next to you for paradise in the day after. Don't forget, we're just travelers, brother. So let's prepare for our departure. Allah Akbar. <laughs> Yo, Salaamu Alaikum, Ramadan Mubarak. This one's for the brothers. Put, a, put together iftar meal, magnet prayer for all the brothers at Lewis and Nashville and the mom should kill and bring it on soon. And but from me to you, I'm a damn barrack. Let's go. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Rahman Rahim. Madiki Yaumidin. Iya Kana Buduwa Iya Kana Sain. Idina Sigatal Mustakim. Surat al-Din anam ta'alayhim Walil madubi alayhim Wala darim Amin Assalamu alaikum Assalamu Yeah man, just I just thought like During the month of Ramadan It's the best time to get the most blessings So I just said like Amon said I said to Imam we got to do a collaboration You know what I mean And share the blessings around And you know Just just bring all the brothers together, you know the ones there, because sometimes a mom will reach out and we can't get everyone, everyone's busy. So I thought, let me give some assistance and we all get together and, and we pray. Obviously when we, um, I'm going to say much more when we, when after Salah and we do the official reminder, but um, 
my main reminder today is just about brotherhood. So that's it, inshallah. If anything you take from this today is brotherhood. You might know me as Harry, um, but my real name is Alhaji. Alhaji. Um, I've recently just come back from Umrah a second time. And um, for me, one thing I've learned there is that we're all equal. Um, regardless of our material things that we've got in our careers, we're all under Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Salah is the most important thing. It's something that doesn't take you two minutes in a day to complete. There's no excuses when we do go back to our Maker. So that every day that we are here, God's given us this time to do it. Make sure we're praying Salah, being very grateful. We've all come from probably, I don't know if to speak for everyone, but from negative places, but that shouldn't define us, as, especially as Muslims. Forgiveness is key, a clean heart. Is, is, is a good heart. Um, I also want to say I've got some Zamzam water straight from the source, so I think everyone should take a sip, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum, boys. I'm Danny. Um, I'll have a short reminder. My reminder will be that uh, Ramadan is not just about not eating, it's about coming back to the Quran, coming back to your Salah, um, taking as much knowledge as possible. Obviously, we all slip off, we're all human, but just to reset ourselves and come back again and, and come back stronger. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is uh, Al Harith. Um, Ramadan Mubarak, first of all, to everyone. Um, if I had to give one reminder, first and foremost to myself, then I would say never to lose hope in the mercy of Allah. And I feel like all of us, all of us can relate to that because we've all done things that we're so ashamed of sometimes that we don't even want to show our faces in front of Allah. But Allah has given us more than enough excuses over and over again. He mentions, he talks about his mercy in the Quran more than anything else. And he's given us more than enough excuses for us to always, always make sure that we don't feel ashamed to stand in front of Allah. We can feel ashamed in front of any other human, any other person, sometimes even our own families. But Allah invites you to sit with him no matter what you've done. So again, first and foremost, as a reminder to myself, um, yeah, this is the month of mercy, man. So just soak it up and just... Cry on the floor to Allah if you need to. Just tell him everything you've done and he'll be there for you. As he is for all of us, alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Jacob um, Yaqub. My reminder to the brothers would be, hold on to the salah. Um, that's what separates a believer from a non-believer, the prayer. So no matter how much you think you're sinning, um, just turn back to Allah, put your head down on the mat and pray, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Qais. Uh, for me, it's... For me, Ramadan is a beautiful thing for all of us. Um, for many years we've done it, but it's about what you take out of it and what you're giving in Ramadan. Um, one thing I've learned is to soften the heart, to be a forgiver, to forgive. Um, let this be a month for us to forgive and be stronger in when you come out of Ramadan, forgiving others. Because we are going to come past, um, our Iman is testing on the point of our strength. How good are we in forgiving? Um, if we can't forgive, then we hold on to this and it makes our Iman weaker. It stops us from getting stronger. So for me, Ramadan is an opportunity to take most of what's around us and then after Ramadan, make the most of it and be a forgiver, learn to forgive, um, learn to love. Um, for me, that was it. Ramadan, something else for me, inshallah. My name is Ismail. Um, my word for everybody is just to seek the mercy of Allah. It's the most blessed month that you can cry to Allah, ask Allah for forgiveness and ask for mercy, but also know to be charitable, be kind, speak kind words to each other, look after each other. As it, it, We've got a big ummah, it's all over the world, like just look for kindness for each other. Those who are suffering, those who are going through hardships, be kind to them, give charity. Salam. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Saj. Um, I just want everyone to remember, as we break our fast today, there's a lot of brothers and sisters in the world that ain't even got this food to break their fast with today. Make them in your du'as and just keep strong. Rasul says, Islam is one body, one wahid. If one part of the body is in pain, the whole body is in pain. Now, I didn't want to come here today. What lie are they? I didn't even come here for CBD leather. I came here for my brother. But then I just realized I did come here for CBD leather because it's one of his six rights, which is wajib, which is obligatory upon us that if a believer invites you to a gathering, it is wajib to go. We have six. Mm. Alhamdulillah, that's one of them. So, I just like to say Alhamdulillah, you know, Allah says it in the Quran. Um, At the and it may be just like a thing which is good for you and like a thing which is bad for you. 
But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows us best. Really. So let's not act like we know. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that in Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah 2, Allah ayat 216. Close friends will be enemies to one another on that day, except the righteous. 
So that means we will testify against each other on the day when Jahannam's close to us and it's hot. We're gonna say, yo, he made me do music, he made me do this, we're good. You understand what I'm trying to say to you? And we'll stand up in here as we come from the streets and be like, I'm never gonna tell when the police come, I'm never gonna snitch, I'm never gonna do this. My brothers, on that day, you're gonna snitch. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna snitch, I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm gonna snitch. I'm gonna give, we're gonna give each other up because we don't wanna burn. That's just the reality of the situation. So, inshallah, my message is clear. Inshallah, on that day, when, when you do snitch on me, you say, he brought me to Salah to this day. Alhamdulillah, Allah Akbar. So how we come brothers? Um, yeah, I just, obviously this, is, this wasn't planned, I had nothing planned in my head to say, but what I, I want to remind the brothers is that I just feel like this, you know, Islam is so beautiful. It's the one thing that brings me, brings my brothers down to earth and to reality. Um, and someone really close to me took their shahada um, three days ago. And I've been speaking to them about the Dean for years and years and years, and they finally took their shahada. And 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 the reason being because you know seeing you know where we, we we coming from, where we're coming from, you know from doing we grew up doing music, grew up on the streets, and all of this. And the one thing that always you know stopped me in my tracks regardless of what is happening is the Dean and when they see that and I just want the brothers to know that we need to you know as much as we can set examples you know regardless of what it is that you know we're doing I'm always going to be proud and, you know, to let people know I'm a Muslim I don't care you know in terms of anything I'm a Muslim at the end of the day and, and, and that's what we need to remember regardless of judging regardless of you know what you see other brothers doing sinning you know, Allah is the most forgiving. Don't forget that. Let's not judge each other. Use this month to, to do the best we can, get as much deeds as we can, get as much forgiveness as we can. And, you know, I, 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 I just wish you all the best, Ramadan. I hope Allah answers every dua that you guys have each other. Um, but yeah, thank you for, for having me, Imam Shakil. Um, but yeah, Salaam Alaikum, brothers. Alaikum Salaam Alaikum, brothers. Obviously, you might know me as Tef, um, Arabically, I'm Abdul Jihad, and um, choosing that name when I was when I first took Shahada, I was 19 years old, and I had only seen Jihad on the news when it was describing terrorists and stuff until I actually read up on it, and it actually means the holy struggle for Allah, and we all have to struggle to please Allah. We have to struggle in our daily lives, and like I feel like with things like social media and all these things, smartphones, there's a lot of distractions. So the struggle gets even harder as we go because we live in the Western world. And I have three friends that recently took Shahada just before Ramadan. And one of them was really close to me. And he came to me and said, I want you to be my witness. I want you to come with me to the Masjid. And just little combos and stuff I have with him. He's like, I, I admire you. I said, why? I'm just, he said, nah, the things you do, even though you're that person in your own time and nobody sees it, that you're very like, you like to gain knowledge and you like to like know things, you don't ask questions, you want to go and find out for yourself. So I um I encourage us all to just information is there, like same way we have these smartphones and we can do all the entertainment we want, knowledge, knowledge is the most powerful thing. You can never stop learning, there's always something new to learn. So keep learning and keep struggling for a long time. Again, that's all the thanks for coming late. And then he called me back and said, look, you know what, better is in the masjid. We can meet in the masjid, we can pray, and then we can have a reminder. So this is his initiative. So now Allah Ta'ala, we will reward him. I want to sign off the brothers again to say, we have to we have a lot of brothers here, I know, personally. Yeah, and the Imam Shah is not easy. Very few brothers call to find out how you are as an Imam. I remember a brother called me, my first question, I said, what can I do for you? He said, I'm asking them, come see how you are. But on a regular, brother of Jaleel will call me just to see if you're okay. Can I do anything for you? 
So, you know, I love you for the sake of Allah Ta'ala. Can I get that perfume though? The second thing I was going to focus on is the, uh, what, I, what we were just talking about is basically brotherhood. Mm. Yeah, and I want to the incident, you know, the different ethnicities out here. This is like in Peckham when I was young. Peckham. Before there was Peckham made boost, there was Peckham made chat. <laughs>